Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play here. My name is William Cho, joined by G Clef, and we are back to try another game here on WeMix Play. Another day, another WeMix Play, I can't wait. I hear that this might be the best one out of all that we've done so far. Well, a huge project, right? Okay. And we know that a lot of people have been kind of following this title, kind of seeing when the global release was gonna happen, and now, of course, on the WeMix platform as well, so for WeMix Play. And so what's the game called? It's called Night. Crows. There and we go. I'm sure everyone has been waiting for this global launch. It's just been launched really hot on the release, and let's dive right in because I can't wait. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, let's, let's play. play. Ooh. Ooh, the graphics. Okay. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah. Or maybe uh, there's oh, a quest on right top. You're right. Welcome back. Accept it. There we go. I've been waiting for you to return. I can always be sure you'll do an excellent job when I uh, break. Master of Freedom. I Master see. of Freedom. What a title to have. So, okay, first impressions just off the bat. There's auto combat. So, kind of the, the beginning, you know, again, the typical like hunt X number of things in the beginning of any MMO. We can kind of just let the game play through this as we get our bear. See, William, the hunter's stealing everything. That that he is, actually. <laughs> oh, we, we, okay, we did complete. Uh, okay, okay, one, okay, one, we, we did, okay, okay, we got it. <laughs> but it took us like eight trials <laughs> because the hunter was actually stealing Oh, everything. okay, now I see, now I see why everyone does it, okay. <laughs> All right, as far as gonna, oh. Oh, get a mount. Okay, you don't have to walk everywhere. Nice. Mm, thanks. So we can take a quick little browse through Ooh, here. legendary elk. Oh, these are all legendary. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, what is this? Mythical. Ooh. Ooh, salad. That's that's fancy. These are all pretty fancy. Yeah, it goes down from uh, legends to epic. Oh, this is buffalo. this is mine. That's the, yours. The, the water buffalo. Buffaloes are slow, man. <laughs> yeah, but it looks so cool. It's like a little armadillo tank, but well, it's a buffalo. Good luck traveling, man. <laughs> I'll be flying in the air. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, we can now use gliders. So let's oh, read nice. up on that. Glider uh, flight. Yeah. So I guess from like a higher. Uh, high ground, you can actually dive up to the opponents. Yeah, looks like, like there, it. because there are some guild fights in this game, mm, like okay. big, big, huge scale guild fights. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's gonna teach us how to glide. Oh, that's that's sick. An expert glider. Yeah, that's an expert <laughs> glider. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull off maneuvers like that, but I can tell you, my flight simulator time is not that high. Oh, I haven't even tried, man. Don't oh, talk to me on that. Oh, we're, are we going to talk to this guy first? I'm like so scared. I, I got to get ready to, to press it. Okay, Night Grows member. Okay, we equipped Marcello. it. Nice, okay. Nice. I did it. I did it, chat. Okay, so coming into the shop, um, already some you know new currency popping up, etc. But this is probably where we should explain mm -hmm. kind of the gist of how the overall economy and tokenomics works for Night Crows. Yes, I, he I hear there is a crow token. Yes, so that's kind of the main token for Night Crows is C R O W Crow. Uh, but you're probably wondering, okay, so how do you mint crows, etc. The the basic deal mm. is is you can mint crows with something called V-Dias, or value-added diamonds. Value-added diamonds. How are they different from the diamonds that we actually just see right that's, here? That's the important part. Because you can just buy, can you just buy them from the package? Yes, so you can buy regular diamonds from the shop, right, mm -hmm. with cash. However, these aren't value-added. So these are diamonds that you can use in-game to on the exchange, right? So let's say you list an item, as we saw earlier, and you list something at 400 diamonds, okay. then I can buy the diamonds that's with simple. cash, and then I can buy yours on the exchange. However, once I use it on the exchange, you will receive it as value-added diamonds or V-diamonds. Oh, so you, when you have 8,000 diamonds from the shop, as you can purchase That's from $99. Diamonds, yes. <laughs> and if you buy any items that was from the exchange shop, the seller yes. would get the V-diamonds. So basically, I think the real headline here is that you can only use diamonds that have been through some portion of the game, some content in the game, whether it's the exchange mm. or maybe it's some other rewards that you got through the game, not bought through the shop. Those are the diamonds that you can then, the tokens that you can then put into the Crow token. Uh, and then that, of course, can be exchanged into Wemix Dollar and other uh, crypto as well. Yes, yeah, so which makes the market, uh, the exchange very active uh, throughout with the diamonds. I think that that's a very lovely step to go through. And it's not too, there, it's not too many steps. It's just one step at a time into Crow and and we mix dollar, so you exactly. can exchange that right, right off. So again, I, the important part here is that you can't just buy diamonds from the shop and immediately 
a mint, the, to the crow tokens. Mm -hmm. You have to at least use it and then gain your diamonds some other way through the game. Basically, you have to participate in the game to be able to mint your tokens. Now, something cool about Night Crows is you can actually do this with it. There's a bunch of other tokens in the game as well, but they're all basically tied into the important kind of item categories. That way, you don't have to always then get the item, turn it into V-Dyes, et cetera, et cetera. The item itself has a token that you can then mint directly into That's Crow nice. tokens and WeMix dollar, things like that. Mm -hmm. I believe a lot a lot of those tokens also go through the WeMix Play website. So sure. that's also one thing that less of a hassle that you can just get in game and go directly connect it to your wallet and go directly to the website and exchange it away. If you need it, if you need more tokens, you exchange into the game. Yeah. So with all this exchanging, like when if you're first looking at it and you're trying to get into the details, it might seem like a lot. For me, it was as well when I first heard there's like, you know, six, seven, eight different tokens in the mm -hmm. game. I'm like, whoa, that's a lot. But really, I, the best way to look at it is basically every portion of the game, right? Every kind of item category, or of course your diamonds, etc. Once it's gone through the game content itself, now it has value that it can be minted and then exchanged on the platform, the Wii Play platform as well. Now, how you use that is of course up to you. Do you use that out of game or do you then recycle it back into your own uh, economy in the game? But you don't have to be scared because there's all these different tokens. Simply, everything you're doing, everything you're using has a value marked to it that can then be exchanged. Yeah, that's exactly why we have diamonds here and the exchange that you put in more effort, a lot more exchange to actually invest in more so you can get higher seated item, higher tier items, then you can sell it later for higher price if you really want to. Or you can straight up just enjoy the game as a stronger person. That's another potential that you can just, there are lots of, a lot more ways to actually have the in-game economics really connected with the real world economics. Yes. And of course, now the one of the more important things, I guess, is that since every part has value, you can also mint your character as an NFT. Yeah, it's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. For me personally, I, I'm not quite sure, like how would, that, how would that affect me if I'm really playing this game long term? Like does that change how I view the value of the items or gear, things like that, right? Because sometimes, I will say, sometimes it's kind of nice to just keep it simple, right? I'm just like, well, it's a cool item I really wanted and now, I kind of know I'm one of the few people that has it and that's enough for me. Sometimes mm -hmm. the simpler things are the happier things. But now that there's like direct value added to it, in a sense it's a neat idea, but does that start to maybe add a little bit more too much like realistic burden, so to speak, right? Of like, well, this is like worth hmm. X amount. Now that we've put an actual number to it, does that give more joy or take away more joy? That, I don't think I'll know unless I really get to that point in the game. Uh, but mm, something, something I'm a little wary about. Yeah, I think that will take at least weeks and months well, sure. in yeah. the game to get to and that you have to be fighting in your guild and unions and all to get all those all those really fancy items by then. And of course, I hope you get a purple summon by that. There time. you go. Well, <laughs> wait, what about why not a legendary summon? Why are we stopping at Epic? Oh, never mind, middle legendary. I mean. <laughs> uh, but yeah, overall, I will say it does feel like perhaps some of the most thought out tokenomics that we've seen mm -hmm. uh, so so far in the games that we've tried on WeMix Play. Um, and just not just because of the sheer number, but again, how it's all tied together, how it's all valued, uh, so that it makes sense that it has an actual economy rather than just, by the way, here's a different way to use it. Yeah. On top of that, while we were talking just now, the game was actually hunting by itself because we are running the quest. There you go. And the graphics look amazing on Unreal Engine 5. It's one of the best engines out there currently. So. Sure. Certainly looking great. The skills look awesome. I would like to try more classes later on, not just a sword. Of course, a hunter. <laughs> okay, okay. You got four slots. You got okay. four slots. Okay, well, I think that about covers kind of the basics of Night Crows. Again, obviously a game that we know a lot of people have been looking forward to worldwide. Uh, now with its global release, with the tokenomics built into it. Uh, and I'm curious to see, you know, how else this is going to grow. The inclusion of the tokenomics, how does it impact the game overall in the long run, right? Once everyone gets to the end game mm -hmm. and we're all on the exchange, you know, giving and trading and things like that. Uh, but it's definitely a, a new chapter for me, at least, kind of looking at how can tokenomics really evolve a genre like an MMORPG. Yeah, talking about chapter, I'll be going home immediately and try to find the best server that I can go into and start my own character real soon because the game just opened a day ago. So everyone's at the starting page. Yes. I want to get to 35 and really feel what the exchange looks like when I start selling things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Getting really involved with it. Well, 
Ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you are at home and you see a hunter stealing all your kills for the quest, that's probably G Clef, because he's gonna go over and do that right now. But this was Night Crow, so now you can check it out on Wii Mix Play. And that's it for this episode of Let's Play with William and G Clef.